What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for the Disgaea 6 demo. Now in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the rank 39 weapons for any character and you can get as many of them as you want. Now this is kind of important because obviously you need the rank 39 weapons to get the rank 40 weapons in the full game. And that, that's pretty much the goal, you know, you want to get the rank 40 weapons because they're super, super awesome. So, how do you actually go ahead and get the rank 39 gear in the demo? Even without the item world, even with only low dimension guides and low level senators, you can still get them. So, let's take a look, shall we? So, basically, one of the things that we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be slightly abusing the demerits. And the way this works is, basically, if you go down the list and you take a look at, uh, like, raise weapon to mastery level 50, you know, it increases your weapon EXP, level 100, gives you more EXP. But then, guys, if you increase, say, the fist to level 100, you get the ultimus, which is the rank 39 fist. You do the sword, you get the true y uh, Yoshitsune which is, again, the rank 39 sword. And you can do this going down the list for all of the individual weapon types, which is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful. However, that's not all you have to settle for, because just remember, guys, just remember, multiple characters have demerits, meaning you can get as many of these as you want. All you would have to do to get another set is just make a new character. So if you're doing the EXP method, which involves 100 prinnies, you could theoretically get 100 Yoshitsunas, 100 Ultimacies, and so on and so forth. Now, in terms of how to actually level the weapons, you can do it one of two ways. So the first is obviously just go ahead and actually use the weapons in general. Uh, because by doing that, you know, you're gonna slowly level them up. Now, that is a bit of a, a bit of a hassle, to be fair. It does take a bit of time. Uh, I ended up doing the sword with Zed, uh, actually, like, doing it properly in that. And it took forever. It literally took about 10 hours just for that. So, we're not gonna be doing that method. Instead, we're gonna be doing the, uh, the cheap, cheesy method. And to do that, we're going to go to the juice bar right here. And here we're going to have a drink. We're going to select Zed. We're going to go over to Weapon Mastery. Now, this is where we can actually use the stored juice bar EXP and HL in order to instantly level a weapon up. So, for example, take the uh, the bow. That's level 40 for me. All I got to do is spend 134 million HAL and 13 million EXP. And boom, it will be level 100. But since we're doing this properly, you know, we'll do a level 0 weapon. So it's 163 million and 16 million EXP. I'm going to go ahead and select that to completely max out the uh, the rod weapon for Zed. And then we will uh, simply leave the juice bar, go into the, uh, the status menu. And status, demerit, oops, wrong button. Demerit, and there it says, raise staff weapon mastery to 100. Simply accept the reward, and there you go, you've got the rank 39 weapon. Now, of course, you can do this for any weapon and any class. So it's definitely worthwhile, you know, it is absolutely worthwhile. The only downside is they don't come with traits, and they are only the common mode. However, not only do you get that rank 39 weapon, there is actually something else you get by doing this as well. All you have to do is go to the quest shop and actually pass all of the builds relating to the weapon mastery for the weapon that you've just mastered. So right here, obviously I've just done the, uh, the staff, so let's quickly fly through these quests. And that was level 61, so I got another staff bill. However, look here, at level 100, you actually get a unique piece of gear. So this one is the Philosopher's Stone. Let's just go ahead and take that. And let's take a look at what it does, shall we? Because I actually, I've never seen this item either, so I have no idea what this one does. So let's take a look and see, uh, see if it's any good. Okay, so straight off the bat, it has five jump, uh, five critical... Uh, it has, oops, where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. So it has five critical, five jump, and 7,500 int and resistance. 
uh, and that's it. So it is a legendary. It's got a 50 rarity. However, again, no innocence. That's the same across the board for all these unique quest items. They are legendary, but they have no innocence. Now, the benefit to these, though, is the critical boost. Uh, by using these items, you can actually really stack up some good criticals. So right there, Sword Chain Thief, you get that one for leveling the sword up. That gives you 10% critical. Uh, you've got the Battle Aura, which is for the fists. Uh, wait, no, that's not the fist. The Battle Aura is for the armors. And by doing the armors, you know, look at that. It's one point, well, it's 1.5 million HP and SP and then stats in every single bracket as well. Now, I can't wait to level this up because I'm actually expecting this to be pretty decent in the full game. But though, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and, uh, well, I hope you go out there and get all of your rank 39 gear ready for the release of Disguise 6. Still though, I hope you have liked this video, or I hope it's helped, you know? And of course, if it did, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, then why don't you hit that subscribe button as well for even more Disgaea 6 guides. As always though, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.